He was not accused of committing any crimes or abusing his office. Uh, you know, it's not like the Eric Massa situation where he was accused of sexually harassing and touching staff members uh, uh, or even, um, you know, Elliot Spitzer, who was, uh, you know, violated federal right. laws and prostitution. Uh, th this was a personal indiscretion, and it really uh, is between he and his wife as to uh, what this means for him personally. Uh, he's, he's broken no laws. He probably could have weathered it, but it, there would be an intense deal of uh, media scrutiny, public scrutiny. Um, you know, I believe he probably could have weathered the storm, but chose not to. Chose to move on with his life, and, um, and hopefully that was the decision that's in the best interest of his family, which really should have been where his priorities were. Right, and now people are moving forward. There's been a lot of names thrown out there of possible replacements for Chris Lee. Your name even was thrown out there. Are you interested in uh, taking over and representing the uh, 26th district? I, I am I'm focused on my job as serving as the county chairman of the Erie County Republican Committee and really haven't uh, explored a potential run for Congress at this time. Assemblywoman Jane Corwin is another is a potential candidate that many people are saying has emerged as the front runner at this point. Do you think she's a good choice? Well, I think that uh, we have a uh, incredible selection of candidates that we can choose from. Um, you know, I've talked to my fellow county chairs. Uh, we look to forward to getting together at some point this weekend. We're working out the details to map out a game plan uh, for what the nomination process will be like. Um, we, uh, fortunately, have all been through this two years ago when Tom Reynolds retired and we actually nominated Chris Lee. So we're, we're a group of uh, party leaders that know each other well, uh, that get along and treat each other with respect. So we're able to uh, actually get together and I think come to consensus. We have a lot of candidates to choose from. Assemblywoman Jean Corwin would be a terrific candidate for Congress. I think she would do a phenomenal job and be a great candidate. You also have Senator George Maziars, Senator Mike Ransenhofer. I know uh, you have Assemblyman Steve Hawley from Batavia. And uh, I have not yet heard what the intentions are of uh, Monroe County Executive Maggie Brooks. Would you um, in, in, there are other candidates as well from the private sector and, and uh, the different levels of government that have expressed interest to me today. I, I believe he should declare the vacancy as soon as possible. Uh, what Governor Patterson did to the citizens of the southern tier in western New York last uh, year and left them without a representative walking the halls of Congress for eight or nine months was atrocious and it was an embarrassment. And if the governor uh, would be kind enough to call the election as soon as possible, we should be able to seat a new member of Congress within the next 60 days. My, my fellow county chairs and I will get together at some point this weekend. Uh, we will map out what the process will look like. And from that point forward, we will um, schedule the interviews with the candidates that uh, are serious about pursuing the seat.